Bro, I have not seen somebody get owned like this in a long time. But it may be made indirectly. Oh, here we and go. It matters not. Yeah, how let me see this. Or disguise the modes in which the I'll watch it. is concealed if it is in fact defamatory. Citing Carwile. Well, we can argue as to how artful it was, but the implication was very clear as the court has previously uh, ruled or not law of the case, but as the court has uh, persuasively written in its opinion letter. Let's move to the falsity of Ms. Hurd's ever evolving and ever escalating. Look at her face. Of IPV and so <laughs> She's so mad. Mr. Depp's sworn denial is all he needs to survive a motion to strike. But there's a lot. But look, more she's moving. That, she's so honest. mad. Be brief. Three police officers, actually four, but the three who testified already, Officer Sines, Haddon, and Gatlin, I'll turn up the volume. testified unequivocally that Ms. Hurd did not have a mark on her on the evening of May 21, 2006. Ain't that something? Uh, and I, I could go through. Wow. Uh, I'll just go through very quickly. Officer Haddon, uh, strike that. Officer Melissa Sines on a jury trial day 10. Question, did you provide a copy of this pamphlet to Amber Hurd? Answer, I did not. I didn't identify her as a victim of domestic abuse. I saw that The part. next day, Officer yes. Melissa Science. Okay. Oh, he's going down time, the list. Did you notice any injuries on Ms. Hurd? Officer Science, I did not. Question, okay, were you looking to see if she had any injuries on her at the time? Officer Science, yes, I was. Question, and so you were looking to see if Ms. Hurd had any injuries and you determined that she did not. Is that accurate? Officer Science, okay. correct. Question. Dude, while okay. he's just reading and this shit the off. good enough in the hallway for you to make that determination? Oh my God. Answer, yes, the hallway was well lit. Officer Gatlin's testimony Jesus. was the same, and he had the body cam. Officer Haddon's testimony <sighs> was the same. The testimony of nurses Debbie Lloyd and Aaron Brown. She's not who happy. Did, who, like the police officers, did not work for Mr. Depp. Uh, Mr. Depp. In fact, they, they work for Dr. Kipper. Also, the lie, Ms. Hurd's false allegations of abuse. Isaac Baruch and Alejandro Jeez. Romero both testified that they saw Ms. Hurd repeatedly oh my in God. the clear light God between damn. May 21, 2021, which was the last time Mr. Depp saw her before leaving on the Hollywood Vampires tour. The next time he was to see her was when Ms. Hurd begged him to come see her in San Francisco, which is hardly the act of a domestic uh, abuse victim. Damn. So we have Isaac oh, Baruch wow. and Mr. Romero. Johnny's not even paying attention. Heard repeatedly in the interval of time between May 21 and May 27, when she obtained the farce ex party TRO. Yeah. And they saw no marks on her face and no swelling. Uh, two witnesses, Mr. Baruch and Brandon Patterson, saw the video of. Ms. Hurd and her sister Whitney pantomiming the fake punch after this alleged uh, incident of abuse. Wow. Ms. Hurd's former personal assistant, Kate James, and several other witnesses, including He's putting Dr. Shit away. He's Dr. Like, I'm David done. Kipper, We're, saw no it's violence done. by we won. Mr. It's Depp, over. and no injuries to Ms. Hurd. Indeed, witness after witness has come forward to testify that Ms. Hurd Far from being a domestic figure representing domestic violence, Ooh. unquote, is in fact a recidivist perpetrator of domestic violence on Mr. Oh, Depp uh, and, oh. and others. We have the testimony, uh, the Ooh. harrowing testimony of Mr. Depp himself, who described several witnesses. One, as Your Honor will recall, when he was hiding in the bathroom after escaping one of her attacks, and uh, she claims to have hurt her foot kicking the door. Mr. Depp oh. opens the door to see if she's hurt, and then she kicks the door in on him and punches him. We have the incident of December 15, 2015. Reading the fucking riot when, act. Um, God damn. Ms. Hurd uh, threw punches at him wildly at the back and side of his head. Uh, Mr. Depp testified that he ducked and covered to protect his face. Eventually, he turned around to grab her and stop her arms from flailing. 
uh, December 15th. She's like, please the stop. Uh, during an argument, Ms. Heard grabbed a can of mineral spirits oh. and threw it at Mr. Depp's face, Isn't there pain striking in? him in the forehead, bridge, and nose era. And the jury saw a photograph of the, bru the bridge yep. and the bruise of his nose. We have testimony from is Mr. This a roast? And, and, and by the way, Tara Roberts, who is oh my the manager God. of the island, confirmed that uh, the incident with the mineral spirits. You have Mr. Depp's testimony of what happened on April 22nd, 2016. Jesus. Uh, and we've heard testimony uh, today from Aaron Borum Filati that Mr. Depp was very responsive, uh, was very sociable, had not, uh, was not in any way inebriated that day when Miss Heard says he was. How about and that? She, and she attacked him that, um, she attacked him that night as well. And, I, and I'm getting to, to, to the end of this, Your Honor. <laughs> he has to tell him, he's like, it's not over. But wait, there's more. We have, um. Another sheet of paper. This is live. We have Miss Heard's own admissions. We have her, Oof. um admitting uh, to hitting Mr. Depp, and her only uh, contention was that she wasn't pun punching him, she was just hitting him. We have testimony Jesus. from Travis McGivern that what uh, a bitch. Ms. on February 23rd, 2015, Ms. Heard threw and hit Mr. Depp with a can of Red Bull, and then sucker punched him with a closed fish, fist. Um, Finally, we have God uh, damn. a rather stunning testimony of, of Ben King, quite a credible witness who accompanied Miss Heard on the flight back from Australia, where Miss Heard admits to him in a rhetorical question, quote, did you ever totally lose it on someone you love? Which was, we would respectfully submit an admission of her severing the top or the tip of Mr. Depp's figure a finger finally among Honor, other things statement number three quote i had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse again quoting very briefly from page seven of the court's opinion letter quote drawing every fair inference in plaintiff's favor the court can fairly include conclude the defendant's statement that she saw how institutions protect men accused of abuse could reasonably convey to its recipients that she saw how Mr. Depp was protected by institutions, that he abused her and spoke up against it. Uh, Your Honor, again, we have multiple testimonies Jesus. from multiple people, including Jack Wiggum and all the others, oh mentioned my. that this was a um, reference wow. to that. Wow. Um, your Honor, again, the, the lies that have already been exposed that Ms. Heard has told about the charitable contributions. Oh, I forgot about uh, that. The incidents in this case. Totally forgot about again, that one. I'll just cite a couple of more. Lion of the testimony Amber, yep. of Isaac Baruch. When Mr. Baruch saw Ms. Heard on June 3, after she'd gone through with the sham ex-party uh, TRO, and Mr. Bruce was asked, did she say anything in response? And Mr. Bruce testified, yeah. In response to that, she, meaning Ms. Hurd, I bet she did. Looks at me and said, I told Johnny I don't want anything. The lawyers are making me do all of this. And I, you know, that's what she said. Okay. The lawyers are making her do all of that. And apparently she wanted the $7 million dollars. For herself, she the lawyers are making her steal from charity. Left on the marital bed after her 30th birthday party, and it was quite telling that she admitted to Starling Jenkins, a former United States Marine, that this was a terrible prank gone awry. Well, she lied about that too. Oh my! In fact, she said Mr. Depp was crazy to even allege that she could have done such a thing. Well, she admitted it uh, to the uh, gaslighting. Uh, per Tronfield, <laughs> next page cited earlier. Oh Mr. my God! Depp does not have to prove damages because this is defamation per se. In fact, these involve oh some of God. the most heinous crimes any man or woman can be accused of. However, he has done so. 
Uh, Jack Wiggum tested yesterday that the impact of the op-ed was catastrophic on Mr. Depp, Depp's personal and professional life. Very true. Uh, that it was a $22.5 million loss on uh, Pirate 6. More. And another $20 million on others. Uh, we've had the... Um, $50 million. Uh, we've had the testimony. Uh, oh, so we have Mr. Wiggum testifying as to the 22 and a half lost on Pirate 6 and another 20 lost on the other films, the other studio films, the indie films, and, and the, other, uh, the other ways Mr. Depp would have made income. We have Richard Marx's testimony, Douglas Banyan's yep. testimony, and the testimony of uh, Michael Spindler just this morning. Um, finally, uh, Your Honor, none of the, Ms. Hurd's affirmative defenses, which would include, you know, her trying to create an issue of fact on, on the title, uh, can support a motion to strike as to which she bears the burden of proof of her affirmative defenses. Quote, whether the defendants have met their burden cannot be resolved when considering a motion to strike. Uh, see God 243 damn. Virginia at 83. And, and just to um, respond to Mr. Rottenborn's citation to the Lakova case, which we hadn't seen until he mentioned it today, I would only note, Your Honor, that defendant admits that she tweeted a link to the online version of the op-ed at paragraph 97 of her answer, though, again, the, the admission of Actual lawyer? Is yeah, imagine that. to survive the uh, motion to strike. And the Lakova case at 995 F3rd 134 not. holds Ooh. that republishing a hyperlink doesn't necessarily start the statute of limitations, not that a hyperlink uh, cannot be defamatory. So with that, Your Honor, we respectfully request that the court True. deny the motion to strike in full. And let's hear from Ms. Hurd. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh-oh. Thank you. Your motion. Uh-oh. Here we go. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. I, I can only assume that Mr. Chu wrote that speech for an audience outside the court because it didn't really address my arguments. I'm going to focus on what our specific arguments are for the motion to strike, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Mr. Chu spent almost 30 minutes of the court's time talking about the, the disputed evidence of physical abuse in this case. Disputed. Ms. Hurd hasn't even put on her case, and, and um, I can tell you she's not the abuser, and if the case moves forward, she and her witnesses will put on even more evidence of the physical abuse she suffered. How at about the hands of some Mr. to begin but with? But that's not the basis for our motion right now, Your Honor. He he talks about how Mr. Depp uh, had a sworn denial, um, and that that should count. He he, we read his testimony. He claims he didn't strike her, but again, that's not the basis for our motion. The basis for our motion is the clear and undisputed evidence of non-physical abuse by his definitions, by his standards, by the standards of his expert, there is no dispute that Mr. Depp on abused Amber. And therefore, if he did it even one time, there is no dispute that even under their theory of the case, the implication that they want the jury to draw from the article, which again, I'm so not she made he made her mad, so she cut off his of finger today, because under the legal standard, How the fuck I'm not does that argue make that. sense? I'm not going to waste the court's time with that. But even under their standard, the undisputed evidence is that Mr. Depp did commit abuse against Ms. Hurd, and therefore that those first two statements were false. That's that's our argument on that. As to the headline, that's so bad. It's funny, Mr. Chu. We played you know, two or three hours argument? of an ACLU deposition. Now he says, "Well, that, that wasn't our witness. It was his witness, Your Honor. He just spent ten minutes talking about what Mr. Doherty said, and Mr. Doherty testified that the Washington Post wrote the headline." That is the only evidence, Your Honor. I understand he says, well, Exhibit 1 has her name on it. Exhibit 1 has her name on it. But the only evidence in this case about who wrote that headline is Mr. Doherty's testimony. It is undisputed. They could have put anyone else on it. They could have called Ms. Hurd for that because that was not part of the stipulation at the, at the pretrial conference. It was only the tweet that we talked about, Your mm -hmm. Honor, and they chose not to do that. Now, Ms. Hurd will testify she didn't write that headline, so it wouldn't have helped them. But the... the They've had three weeks to put on their case, Your Honor. They've controlled the playing field of evidence. There is no dispute. Because there's not anything else. Heard did not write that headline. What no about dispute. the other pages? Simply saying, well, her name is attached to it. That can't overcome the testimony of the ACLU 
They call them a co-conspirator. What about everything else? Not to sue them. Um, but the testimony of Terrence Doherty. She write a headline. She didn't write that headline. That takes care of the sexual violence headline, Your Honor. And I, I'm, I'm not going to take up any more of the court's time addressing portions of Mr. Depp. Touching uh, a Mr. straw? Mr. No, touching a straw. To our motion. One. Unless Your Honor has any specific questions. Singular. Be respectful. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. For this motion, I've taken the arguments of counsel, and last night I reviewed all of the evidence that has been submitted in this matter. Uh -oh. So as to the second and third alleged def defamatory statements, um, at the motion to strike at this juncture, I view the evidence in the light most favorable to the plaintiff and reasonable inferences from the evidence to the plaintiff. And if That's there is a dying. scintilla of evidence that a reasonable juror could weigh, then the matter survives a motion to strike. In this matter, there is evidence in the case that a jury could weigh that the statements were made by the defendant, that the statements were about the plaintiff, yep. that the statement was published, yep. that the statement is false, Damn. and the defendant made the statement knowing it to be false, or the defendant made it so recklessly as to amount to a willful disregard for the truth. The weight of that uh. evidence is up to the fact finder. So the motion to strike is denied as to statement two and three. Uh, the motion to strike as to statement one, I'm going to take under advisement because um, if it's not a stipulation, I'm not sure what it is, but there seems to be an agreement that the tweet of Ms. Heard is part of the plaintiff's evidence, which is not in evidence at this point. So I can't rule on that statement whether or not it is just a tweet or if it's some sort of republication yeah, or who something. Gives a I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. That's like one so thing. So as to the motion to strike on, on statement one, I'm going to take an advisement because ruling on it now, it would be premature because I just don't have that evidence in the case, okay? Thank you very much, Ron. All right. Since it's 1230, we don't you want to just take lunch? Uh, go ahead and let the jurors go to lunch and come back at 130. Does that sound OK? Uh, OK. All right. Do you want to do it now? OK, sure. All right. Uh-oh, we're there about to be. Uh, oh my God! About uh, there might be something else that's going to happen. A stare down. There might not be lunch yet. I mean, they could just keep going. No break for you. That's uh, bro. Like I have not seen somebody get owned like this in a long time. Like honestly, this is this is bad. Like to to get got on this level. That is oh my God! That's brutal. Complaining that they lost. Yeah, it's just. She got pwned, like, on TV. And that's the thing, is, like, this is never going to go away. Like, it, it, this is, it, it's literally never going to go away. Like, people are going to be bringing this up to her for the rest of her life. And she'd make it worse. Yeah, she got caught on 4K in front of everybody. Like, that lawyer, bro, like, he was literally just, he was just going out. He was like, okay. So, all right, on uh, page 7... Uh, so yeah, she cut his finger off, uh, said he was an abuser, lied about this, fake nail polish, kicked the door and then said it was Johnny. Johnny opened the door, she kicked him. Closed the door again, she kicked the door, said Johnny hurt her. Okay. And he just keeps going down the list. He's just reading it out of book, man. Oh my God, that's sad. I saw that there was a... Um, uh, one of those fucking petitions where people would not watch Aquaman 2 because Amber Heard was in the movie. Uh, in my opinion, like, would I want Amber Heard to be in the movie if I was, uh, if I, like, if I had a vested financial interest in Aquaman 2, would I want her in the movie? No, I, I would not. I would not want her in the movie. It's uh, almost four million now. Like, yeah, obviously no. And it's like also... It's like a matter of principle, too. I mean, like, principle is not as important as principle balance for many of these people. I, I agree. But at the same time, there is a line, and I think that this is clearly over the Anything fucking... Anything further? 1.30. One, one okay. Oh, my God. They removed uh, Johnny Depp from, uh, from... Yeah, I know. They removed him. Like, that's what it was. Yeah, he got kicked. Dude... You understand, like, Amber Heard killed Jack Sparrow? Like, you, you understand that, right? Like, literally, like, like, she killed Jack Sparrow. Because look at this. R r watch this. I, I, I saved this to watch today. And, and Johnny Depp, I'll never work with Disney again. Can you believe that? Killed Grindelwald, too? Yeah. Johnny Depp is a perfect Grindelwald. And now we don't have Good that. Mr. Depp. 
Good afternoon, um, Mr. Roddenborn. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that in the last little bit, you can, we've, we've you can hear the enthusiasm. Why we're here, and I'd like to start with that. Um, if why you are we please here? Pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit Two, Michelle. Next page. Okay. Pulling up the exhibit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Your Come Honor, on. I believe this is either in evidence or has been stipulated uh, as part of the opening. I assume no objection to two. No objection, Your Honor. Okay. It says bullying was published. too much yes. to take. Yeah, true. A this transformative art. moment for women. Yeah, but not in the way you thought it would be, huh? Article, this opinion piece in the middle of the page there, Mr. Depp, this is the opinion piece that Amber Heard wrote in the Washington Post that was published on December 18th, 2018. Wait, so she's writing about this? She's literally writing fan fiction. How do you, like, oh my, the nerve, like, how? well, she was right. I, I, I think that this is, this is the most accurate title. She was totally right. It is very transformative. Correct. Uh, it can we also fucking take a moment to shit on whoever the fuck allowed this person to get a platform to defame somebody in this way? Where there's literally no real evidence of this other than her word, obviously, because it hasn't been presented in the court trial. What piece of shit allowed this to happen? I, like, it, it's so irresponsible. Like, I, I, this is why I hate the media. I hate the media so much, and I know that, like, there are some... What's happening? Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. I don't want to watch this right now. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot. There are journalists out there that really try to do good work, and that's tremendous. But there's a lot of other ones that that's not what they do. Just let's say December 19th on it. Mm -hmm. You... At the top of the page, doesn't that say December 19th, 2018? Go ahead and I believe that, that the show. 2018 was the online, was it not? Okay, so December 18th, December 19th, this piece in the middle of the page is the opinion piece Ms. Heard wrote, right? Um, it, could you make it a little bigger? Uh, my eyes sure. are getting smaller. By Amber Heard. This is what you're suing her over. Correct? No. Um, no. I'm suing her. It's like five things. It's um, not just one thing. Defamation. Um, and um, the various um, falsities that she used to bring my life to an end. And yeah. You understand, Mr. Many Depp, things. you understand, Mr. Depp, that you cannot, you, you are not suing her for any damage. He's trying to compartmentalize his complaint against Amber Heard to try to disprove one thing or to minimize what she did by compartmentalizing it into one small uh, one small article or whatever. But it was actually like 50 other things. He's trying to be like, it, it's amazing to me that like you can use like, like Amber Heard needs, I hope she kept the receipts for this guy. Like this is embarrassing. Like how could you try that? It's so obvious. Ledge damage or any accusations she got the lawyer on Fiverr made prior to writing this article it was a you're, kickstarter you're aware of that you'd agree with that right could you say that again mr rottenborn you are not bringing a lawsuit against her bringing her into court in virginia for anything that she did prior to writing this article 
correct? You know that again. You, you see what he's doing? He's trying to he's he's trying to to bracket it in. You see, like it's just like why does this? It, it this is unreal. They're trying to get the case dismissed. Apparently, yeah. Can't do that, right? I I have to show you that I I as I said, at the top of this. I've never seen this version of the op-ed piece. Uh, the version that I saw was the other one that I identified that was on the 18th. This is on the 19th. I believe the 18th So it was edited? In two was years quite before. Possibly, sorry. was quite possibly. Um, I like it, how he apologizes to him, but what he's really saying is shut the fuck up. It's like, sorry. Give me a second. That was the online version that came out first. Two so years before either the online or the print. I'm sorry, I was just no, going to finish I my I think answer. you answered my question, sir. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh. Two years before the online. So what he was interrupting Johnny for saying, because Johnny was about to say something that was very important, is that the online version of the article, what I'm assuming that he was going to say, is that it differed from what was actually printed because it was changed between the 18th and the 19th. And because he didn't let Johnny say that, he would have made it to where people wouldn't shine a light on that in the first place. That's what I think it happened. I, I don't know, but I think that's what it could be because it's a lot easier to edit something and then it goes to print the next day. Online, he playing games. The print version came out. Mm -hmm. In 2016, Amber obtained a domestic violence restraining order against you from a California court, correct? I find it to be very interesting that he, uh, you know, it interrupts the guy that's literally giving context for what happened. He's like, stop giving context. That's too much. We might lose. Please stop that. He's trying to box him into a technicality. Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. And in obtaining that domestic violence restraining order in May 2016, she accused you of domestic abuse, right? Yes, sir. And Michelle, if you could blow up the, um, the third paragraph down, please. And in the opinion piece that's before you, published in the Washington Post, she wrote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, correct? I, I can't say correct, she, she wrote it. And the or piece doesn't did. contain your name, correct? No, it does not, no. And other than mentioning the fact of abuse accusations that were made two years prior to the publication of this article, the opinion piece doesn't contain any details of your time together, correct? Oh, I, th I think that her... Um, Editor. I, I think it's very easy to write a piece and put the finger on someone without saying their name. Piece, think... ...of your time. ...application of this article of abuse accusation... I want to pull... I'm, I want to read this. So, let's talk about this. So, imagine... Um, there's uh, somebody, you're at the office, and somebody decides to shit on the floor in the office. Boss comes in next day, and he says, listen, guys, we're going to have to have a talk about bathroom and restroom hygiene and normal behaviors and practices. And uh, th this has been something that I think is very important at this moment. And we need to discuss this immediately. Everybody in that office is going to know that it's because of the guy that shit on the floor. I wonder why. I wonder why this happens. So here's what my opinion of this is. And I don't know if this is right. I could be completely fucking off. But what my assumption is, is that the article was published on the first day where it named Johnny or it somehow implicated him. And then during the editing for the, for the paper of the subsequent day that was edited out to remove accountability from the publication. That's what I think happened. That's my opinion. I have no basis on this, but I, I think that's what happened. 
while mobile's on the site early i'll i'll look at it after i finish this okay yeah there's a lot of things we have to look at for while mobile but i'm very uh, i'm i'm very uh, upset about the situation like then two years ago i became a public figure representing domestic abuse and i felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out how many people here's a very good question here and, and like i know lawyers like to obfuscate this thing and pretend like people aren't saying what they're obviously saying but how many people reading this article would come to the conclusion that johnny depp was abusive I would say over half, like over half at least. So it's like you can make a like, oh, well, this is not really what you were trying to do. But like it was it's very evident that she was doing it with that intent because she literally made up other stuff multiple times. It, it's there's clear malicious intent in mind. Like, how is this even a question? I, I'm losing my fucking mind that you can't call a spade a spade. It's a fucking, like, she obviously is doing this. Like, what is going on? Oh, my God. She did that with intent. I, 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 it's a spade, God damn it. Yes, it is. It's common to look at our, our immediate partner previous to speaking of abuse. Uh, I, I don't get the willful ignorance. Yes, it's obvious. It, it's always, it's complete willful ignorance. She already stole someone else's story about being a survivor, too, and then made it her own. I'm just so mad. I'm so mad. I, I'm so mad. Why is it like this? And the or piece doesn't does. contain your name, correct? No, it does not. No. Like it does than... not contain your name. Uh, again, as if that matters. It's like, do you guys see my shitting in the in the office analogy? Do you see my shitting in the office analogy? And are we on the same page here? Yes, you do. Okay, good. Yes, I need to take a piss, guys. Like, and I, I, I'm just, God, I'm just. We need to sit. We, we need to see this bitch in jail. I'll be right back. So, um, I, I think people that do shit like this should go to jail. I do, because like, it's like paying a settlement. Like, let's be honest, right? Like, if she pays Johnny a bunch of money, nothing's really gonna happen. Like, there's not going to be, like, there's, like, it's, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I, I think that if you, if you fucking make this shit up, especially on the level that she did, she needs to, she needs to go to jail. Like, straight up. Because it just sets such a bad precedent when, whenever somebody like this, it's so obvious and they just get away with it. Mentioning the fact of abuse accusations that were made two years prior to the publication of this article... The opinion piece doesn't contain any details of your time together, correct? Oh, I, I think that her, um, I, I think it's very easy to write a piece and put the finger on someone it's so, without saying their name. Uh, it's so obvious. It's literally so fucking obvious. Like, it, like how, like a hundred percent. There are sneaky ways of um writing things and as i've seen also um what the aclu uh and their team had to say uh they clearly described to ms hurd that i'll move to strike this as hearsay your honor all right all right i'll do um, that next and, and and i appreciate next. Mm, oh my god bro like it's just oh my god sorry it's evidence uh, next, no, sorry next question okay thank you your honor M mr depp I, i'm I losing you've, you've gotten a, a stop a, it a lot of chance to talk and and i'm trying to be respectful of the court's time and the jury's time so i'm gonna ask you that that question again because i think it's a it's a pretty simple yes or no question which is you'd like other it to be sir uh, nothing, other, nothing simple in this case other than mentioning the fact of abuse accusations made two years prior this opinion piece does not contain any details of your time together yes or no okay let's apply just a little bit of logic here if Johnny Depp 
wasn't implicated, why did he lose the roles? It contains uh, fragments. This piece here, I don't know, is this word for word with the other piece? And the article discusses proposed legislation that which you just talked about, correct? You'd agree with that, right? Uh, yes, yeah. And it discusses, discusses Amber's experiences after she had separated from you. You'd agree with that, right? Two years ago, I became the public face for domestic violence. 2018, 2016, it seemed to me that it, uh, the puzzle was going to work no, no matter your angle, sir. Okay, so, so I'll take that response as a no, that this piece does not discuss uh, th th this piece does not discuss anything prior to Miss Heard separating from you, and it only discusses her experiences, her biographical experiences after she separated from you. Correct? I, I, I can't say that. Okay. How could you possibly say that? Wouldn't saying that be hearsay? Wouldn't like what? What like what if like wouldn't that just be hearsay? Because he doesn't know. Like, how would he know what she meant whenever she wrote the article? It's like, it's so obvious. I mean, I don't understand how this is even happening. Like, how is this even a conversation point? If Johnny Depp was not clearly negatively impacted by this, what do you think? That Disney just decided, oh, we don't like Jack Sparrow anymore? No, I think that's not what happened. It's crazy. Claiming that due to Amber's allegations of abuse, you can't be in Pirate 6, correct? Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm saying that after uh, everything had uh, um, basically hit its media targets. Yeah. And the hit pieces kept coming. That's a good way to say it. It would be, I mean, I would be a real simpleton to not think that there was an effect on my career based on Ms. Hurd's Obviously. words. Well, fucking obviously, bro. Obviously. Whether they mention my name or not. You became aware prior to the publication of this op-ed that we'll look at you the were wow thing after this, okay? I just have to finish this. That Disney was considering dropping or, or dramatically shrinking your role, correct? No. Can you pull up uh, Defense Exhibit 113, please? Um, let's go to, let's, um, let's go to 114, please. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Now, uh, when is it happening? Here we go. If they don't make a joke about, don't you guys have phones? I will be very upset.